Hi guys and welcome back. So in today's video, I wanted to share how I put together my DIY deep conditioner. So this is following my whole food shopping vlog that you guys would have seen and if you haven't, the link is above. I will also let you guys know why I chose to go with the different ingredients that are included in this video. And also there will be that wash day video to look out for where I'll be using the Afrocentric Swiss shampoo and this conditioner. So stick around to see how I put this together and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that auto notification bell so you never miss a beat. Thanks for watching! Okay guys, so as you know, Afrocentrics is now in Whole Foods, a massive retailer across the UK. This is exciting, we've talked about how exciting this is. And so to go along with the shampoo for my wash day, I'm putting together a DIY moisturizing deep conditioner and I focused on four key ingredients. The key ingredient being Greek yogurt. This is a plain non-flavored yogurt that has no added fruit. It's great for moisture and packed full of protein. And the magic that is bananas guys, if you honestly don't know then get to know they're not only a way of minimizing shrinkage but they also provide great softness to the hair when it's mixed with other ingredients most definitely had to be included in this conditioner honey 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 mm, mm, mm my honey just keep my moisture in that's all honey does it's really great for retaining that moisture it's also great at absorbing moisture in the air so it kind of attracts moisture so between all of these three you would be okay to actually do a deep condition you would be set to do it and then the extras come along. So I went with this mixed berries tub that I got and it includes blueberries, blackberries and strawberries. I was umming and ahhing about whether I was going to use all three fruits but on this occasion I ended up going with just blueberries. Now guys, blueberries are absolutely amazing for stimulating hair growth. They actually contain a plant chemical and this chemical interacts with hair follicles to accelerate hair growth and we all need a little bit of that every once in a while, right? <laughs> So on this occasion, that's what I went with, but you honestly could have used any combination. Um, strawberries are great, blackberries are great, kiwi is also a great addition. It's just to be able to switch it up a little bit, trying different fruits. So I'll be able to experiment later on down the line. Okay guys, so be sure to check out the description below. That will contain all of the ingredients used in this video and also the recipe, as well as those benefits, what it's actually going to do for your hair. For the yogurt, I ended up going with four tablespoons as opposed to the recommended two. I wanted a little bit extra just so that I didn't run out. And it worked out quite well because I ended up having extra for a breakfast smoothie and also face mask, so it was a win-win situation. I went with one banana to use for my recipe on this occasion, but you can easily use two. It really just comes down to what you're trying to achieve with your particular deep conditioner. I also do recommend getting a banana or using bananas that are as ripe as they can be because when it comes to the blending process, you want to be able to have a nice consistent smoothie. And I've heard horror stories about people ending up with lumps of banana in their hair, you definitely don't want that. So make sure you have a nicely ripe banana to use. And then in goes two tablespoons of honey. You also need a teaspoon at hand. That's what I forgot to mention, even with the yogurt as well. Just have a teaspoon at hand, just so you can scrape any of that excess from the tablespoon, just so that you're not wasting, waste not, what not, and all of that good stuff. And finally, the blueberries go in. I didn't count how many blueberries were actually in this tub, but I would recommend it never hurt nobody to add as many blueberries as possible. So if you get like one of those mini blueberry tubs that you can get in the supermarket, just chuck them in, just throw them in there. They're like popping candy. Just, you know, keep chucking them in there. Just keep going, just keep chucking them in there. <laughs> they are bitty as well. And I'll explain that when I'm doing my wash day routine. So don't go crazy with adding the blueberries in there, but just judge it and see how much you need. But I was a little bit trigger happy, so I put every single blueberry that was in the tub right in there. 
And all that is left to do is blend the ingredients together. Also have another tablespoon handy just to be able to get the honey. Can you see that the honey is kind of is sticking to the side of the blender? So you want to be able to just grab a spoon, just be able to mix it through once again there. This is a great smoothie. Like I've mentioned before, it's literally it became a three in one. It was initially a deep conditioner. It also became a breakfast smoothie and a face mask as well. So look out for that wash day video where I'll be able to show you guys how I actually did my deep condition with this. Now I will say that I got all of my ingredients from Whole Foods. We know Whole Foods is a little bit pricey now. We're grateful that Amazon has bought Whole Foods because Whole Foods foods will now be a little bit more affordable. Thank you. We're very, very thankful Amazon. Thank you very much. You can get these ingredients from your supermarket and they will be affordable a lot more affordable than whole foods quite handy to have everyday ingredients that you can then be able to use to help continue to promote your hair growth and your natural hair journey how awesome is that and it tastes yummy and it smells even yummier guys it's lush lush what was left to do was just grab a bowl and pour my smoothie into my bowl. Off camera, I also got some in a glass for my breakfast smoothie I hadn't eaten at this point. I was just too excited to actually get this DIY deep conditioner done. <laughs> Does anyone else get that excited in life? Because Lord knows I do. Look at how yummy it looks, guys. Oh, it was delicious. So for next time with my deep conditioners, what I think I will do is I'll invest in those plastic container thingamajiggies. That will be easier for me to be able to apply because when you guys see the wash day routine, this went everywhere. Okay, but we'll talk about it in the next video. It's fine, we'll talk about it. But there you have it, guys. My DIY deep conditioner that also worked as a breakfast smoothie and a face mask. <laughs> All right, guys, so let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. Give it a thumbs up if you've liked this video. And also, if this is the first time that you're checking out one of my videos, be sure to subscribe and also hit that auto notification bell so that you never miss a beat on my channel. Definitely look out for that wash day routine, guys. It will be out this Saturday. And thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, bye.